welcome to Ground Control. If you watched our last episode of the Pilot's Lounge, I believe it was episode six, we discussed converting a chuck glider into an RC powered glider. And I have done that. That's, I've been working on this since that episode. And I'm about 98% complete on it. I still have to hinge my um, canopy cover and I still need to find a material to cover the bottom of the fuselage with to protect the wiring that goes back to the motor and to the uh, elevator servo. But we are ready to maiden this glider. I figured I should probably make sure that it flies okay before I go to the trouble of prettying it up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and do the maiden flight and see if everything's working okay and when we get everything working okay it'll be time to pretty it up so let's go maiden this thing and i'll see you out the field Ooh, it does not like the wind now now i think that we are now i think that we are tail heavy I have absolutely, I have absolutely that still acts like it's tail heavy. I have absolutely no nice. I had absolutely no left aileron. Still acts like it is tail heavy. Yeah, it is definitely tail heavy. Uh, I can't believe that, but it is. At least now I know what the problem is. Turn my rates down. Let's see if we can glide it for a minute. We're gliding, we're gliding. Man, this thing glides really well. Look at that thing glide. The motor's completely off. Amazing. Now I'm putting power to it. Alright, it looks to me like we're going to need more nose weight. But, at least we are flying. We are flying. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> That is pretty neat. So, um, apparently, it's the aileron is not a problem. Apparently, it's just really, really tail heavy.
Okay, now we're going to glide again. We're gliding, gliding, motor's completely off. I'm surprised that it's flying this slow because it's about 106 grams. Better pick up some speed. I think I was pretty close to stalling it there. Okay, now we're going to glide again. Yeah, we are definitely tail heavy on this thing. And there's my timer. That was a hard landing. All right, we successfully flew this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna put another battery pack in it real quick, but um, yeah, definitely need more nose weight on this thing. is much better. It's amazing how much nose weight this thing needs. Wow. Yeah, that is much better. Like maybe just a tad less nose weight. That thing scoots. I'm only like 50% throttle. Let's bring it back over here. See how fast. Holy cow. <laughs> with a little 1104 motor uh, that's pretty fast I'm going to have to tone down my rates a little bit too success finally boy that was a lot of work first I had to I had to keep dealing with issues with the airframe now let's glide. That is pretty neat. Let's do another speed run through here. Holy cow! How can you believe that? Oh man, that is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Oh, I am going to have a lot of fun with this. Now, um, I will be putting up tutorials on the build of this. And I'm going to make some decals for it so it's easier to tell the top from the bottom. Is that not cool?
<laughs> There's my timer. I'm having too much fun. Look at that thing take off. That is too cool. I just want to keep flying it. Finally, boy, I tell you, it took three attempts. It took three attempts of getting this all worked out. There's a big loop. Sorry about the sun. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in. That's just gliding. Man, I gotta get better with my landings on this thing. But man, what a blast. Okay, so after two failures and one success of getting it in the air, but when we got in the air, it was pretty tail heavy still. And that really surprised me. One thing I found um, when I first got this chuck glider before I put any, any electronics or anything in it was when it was just a chuck glider, I went out and I chucked it and I chucked it and I chucked it. And it was actually a little bit nose heavy and I had to put a little bit of weight on the tail to get it to glide perfectly. And the CG at that point was really weird. It was way back at about 40% uh, up from the trailing edge of the wing where you would normally expect the CG to be 25 to 30% back from the leading edge of the wing. But one thing I found when I went out and made this is that as I added weight to the plane, it pushed that CG forward. So uh, it looked like, you know, for the for the wing area, the size of the chuck glider, it was it was probably lighter than it should be. And, and, and it really surprised me that as I added weight to this glider, it pushed the CG forward. I'll, I will take a reading after I get my nose weights put back on. I will take a reading and see exactly where the CG is located now, I think. I'm gonna go back out and fly it again and, and reduce the nose weight just a hair, maybe about two, two and a half grams, and then test it again. Uh, but I think the nose weight is almost right where I would like to have it. So um, now that I've got it flying uh, pretty darn well, and it, and it has like a huge flight envelope, I mean a very wide flight envelope. You saw out there how slowly I could fly it. And then when you kick the throttle down, how fast this thing would fly. And I think it's gonna be very acrobatic. The only thing I've done with it so far is what you saw, which was with that big, big climbing loop that I had out there. And so it seems to have plenty of thrust, you know, for its weight. But I was really surprised at how much nose weight I had to put on it and how far forward that CG had moved. So uh, on the next one that I build, I'll, I will know that. So this has been a learning process. I have diagrams, I have templates. I'm gonna make decals for the top of the wing, the top of the elevator, and probably the vertical stabilizer. So visually it's easier to see the top from the bottom, especially if you wanna do acrobatics with it. And I think this is gonna be a very acrobatic glider and it glides forever. Now I had my timer set for four minutes when I landed I landed right at, you know, when the timer went off, I still had 7.8 volts in, the, in that little 400 milliamp two cell. So I think you're gonna be able to get seven to eight minutes of flight time out of this and you saw how well it glided. So if you extend your flight time by gliding a little bit while, you're, while you've got it in the air, you might be able to get 10 minutes of flight time out of this because I was cruising around at just 50% throttle. And, uh, and some of the times I was just gliding. So um, you, it, like I said, it has a very wide flight envelope, but we will have, we'll be putting up uh, video tutorials of everything I did, where I videoed all, most of everything I did that I could video, I videoed. Um, it's going to be in probably 10 different segments, so I'm going to up, try and upload one of these every day for 10 days. I would suggest, because this was a learning process for me, I would suggest that you watch all the videos before you undertake 
um, the conversion of the chuck glider because I was learning as I went along and I learned better techniques the longer that I worked on it. And so I hate to see you start out the way I did where you know I made some mistakes with one of the, some of the tools I was using and then I found better ways of doing it toward the end. Uh, techniques that I'm going to use for the next build. So watch the videos all the way through before you undertake the project. You'll, you'll be a lot happier with the end result if you do. Um, the next one that I do is going to look, I think it'll end up looking like it was made like this at the factory. So I, I think it's going to look really good now that I have some better techniques. Working with EPP foam. EPP foam is very different then working with um, either Adam's ready board or working with the EPO foam or even EPS foam. So keep that in mind. Um, I'll, I will upload uh, links to the decals, to the diagrams, to the templates, and I will have a link, direct links to all the components that I used for it too. But man, this thing is going to be, this is an absolute blast to fly and I'm going to have a lot of fun with it and I'm going to build a couple more of them different colors so stay tuned um, I will be posting all that information links to files if you would like to undertake a project like this these these uh, I think at Banggood these chuck lighters are on sale right now for like $3.49 a piece so I hope you enjoyed it um, it was a pretty lengthy project I have to say uh, because it was uh, working with this kind of stuff was all new to me it'll be a lot faster going forward so hope you enjoyed it i hope you guys undertake the project uh, it'll be a much easier job for you than it was for me you'll learn from my mistakes as you watch the videos and find out better ways of doing it so please give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out our patreon site we have a lot of free content there as well and i will see you in the air